It's the Ruin Who Show, and we have Mr. Ray Galindo. Thanks, Bob. Great seeing you, man. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you see music again, Dennis. Yeah, I think I'll take this song, man. It's not about red carpets. <laughs> it's called Heavy. If you look around, you will see a brother lying on the ground. I've talked to him, he told her he was kicked when he was down. If you can't see, Sister Bruce and Batter struggling desperately. To rebuild the life that matters, it should matter to you and me. Hi, Ru. Oh, who was that about? Uh, it's about my brothers, my sisters, the soldiers, and our mothers. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I like That's that. That's nice. Yeah, Ru, I'm No, I'm fine. Um, so, do you have any good shows coming up? I do, actually. And uh, last night I played at this cool place I discovered over on uh, 42nd Street. Oh, really? It's called uh, Senor Frogs. Oh, I've heard of it. You should do a show there, Ru. Oh, it's really? got an amazing stage, an amazing sound system, and they've just started doing the open mics, but they have live performances all the time. Where is this, where is this at? It's on 42nd Street, right between 7th and 8th Avenues, closer to 8th, right before we believe it or not. Yeah. It's, uh, what is it, 420? No, it's uh, 6, 620, I think is the address. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's 420. <laughs> on the brain. Exactly. 620, 42nd yeah, Street, and I do have right. something else coming up, actually. Steve Krebs from uh, nice. the Krebs and the Main of Jesus. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, I, I played at Sidewalk on March 2nd. Yes. At, and Hussick was, Yay, they man. Gave, me an, gave me an hour there, and that was nice to introduce myself, you know. And uh, so Steve was there. Oh, and, how wonderful. And he offered me a Saturday, uh, May 21st, at the Parkside Lounge. Oh, that's wonderful. So I don't know Yay. who's playing that night, but I'm opening that night. 
so I'm going to warm up at. That's the day my new puppy starts school. I hope you can come to the show. Saturday, May 21st. Yeah. I hope you can come. Maybe I can. That'd be great. Wow. Absolutely. I've got a whole bunch of new songs. I wrote like 10 new songs. I've been on a writing Good. streak. Good Don't stop. You. you know, it's Don't these stop. songs that I did at Sidewalk. It's like I've been doing them for years, and then it's like I just wasn't feeling it, man, you know. Well, so. obviously it didn't matter because Krebs felt it. Yeah, I know. Exactly. You know, as long as other people felt it, that's cool. But, yeah, yeah I'm just not feeling it. Well, you felt the one you just played. This one was kind of new, yeah. That was a great song. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Like, like the one she was doing, Mary was doing, yeah. you know, when, when it, I mean, I do the same similar thing, but that, you know, I got I got it from like Cat Stevens. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, you know, when Cat Stevens started What's playing, I'm like, now? wow, I gotta do that. Because he was saying things, What's you know. Saying well, you know, I, what, what's I happening is, that. as a songwriter, I've been writing songs since I was 10 years old. Right. That's why I became a musician. Cause, you know, when did you start people. playing guitar? Uh, 1969. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Were you like... I was nine seven? years old. Oh, you I was started playing at 66, I got to. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I had a lot of influences, you know, and I've, I've listened to a lot of music, and I was always trying to soak up these influences. And I thought that growing as a songwriter, you know, the more parts you had to a song, and the more you produced the recording, you know, the more you're growing. And then I'm finding that's kind like, of I think a guy thing, and that's kind of cool and everything, you know. But um, yeah. I'm finding that Do you being that? simple. Well, did you simple. go through that? I, I think that I think that like, it, going through music, like you're saying, it's like breaking out of an egg. It hurts, you know. Being a musician hurts. Yeah, it, does. it hurts. People I heard, hate you. you know, I heard attack grass, you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and people will give up and close in on that. Ray ain't giving up. I can well, say. Well, you know, I'm finding that keeping it short and sweet. I, like, know, it, I, no, I, yeah. I don't really have choruses too much anymore. You know, yeah, get from point A to point B, saying yeah, you got to like, say no reason to say the same thing four times in the song. Well, Ray, you have lots to say. This has to be a vehicle to get it out. You know? Yeah, so I heard music. what? I was just going to say, though, I heard Graham Nash today interview him. Oh, and, well, um, love him. He's 74 and he has a new album out. Oh, yeah, and, oh. and he was just like, he thought he was done. And he can't believe, like, yeah. he, he said that this yeah, album is so significant because... Wow. He just left his wife of like 35 years because he fell in love again. And he's 74. And he said, I never thought this would happen to me at 74, and I feel terrible you know? that I did this, no, but I have to yeah. live, and I live from my heart. And yeah. this album is all about there leaving is. my wife. It's of, all those sayings and feelings. Yeah. You know, in 2006, I went to Florida. You know, I left New York and I went to Florida, and I ran into a cousin of is he all right? At a family gathering. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. But my cousin Ricky, I used to hang out with him all the time. We were like brothers when we were teenagers, you know? And so he's like, hey, Ray, how you doing? I mean, I haven't seen him in 30 years, 25 years or something like that. And uh, so, you know, I've been in New York playing music and stuff. Oh, he goes, you still fooling with that? And I just kind of like, you ain't still fooling with that. It's not something yeah, you're right. fooling. It's something you are, man. I know, it's oh, hard. Yeah, like, I still bleed, too. You my soul? Yeah, it is not my soul. <laughs> I know. If we could quit, we would. But yeah, it's like, no, it's this is a mission. We don't know what it is. It's right. not even like our. We can't help it. No, that's right. I know. That's I mean, if, I'm telling you. It would There'll be, be a million things that try to take it from you too. You know? There are people though that do stop, but like there's some of us that just like. If we Born can't. to be wild, man. Yeah. Is that what it is? Uh, well, it, you, you have. To, everybody has a calling. You don't have to be wild, but everybody has a calling. You know, some people are lawyers, some people are singers. Yes. Um, there's probably a reason why some people are on the street. We don't know yes. why. There's oh, yeah. I've talked to a few of them. I've talked to many are. accountants, many So lawyers. we have a lot of songs to write. Many, many, many you know? school, high school so principals. It is National Upside Down Pumpkin. Don't bite it yet. Okay. Okay. Tell us. I know the rules. Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple cake day. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, so do you have any new or old skeletons in your closet? You know, I do, and since it's 420, I'm going to get better at them, actually. I am getting better at them, because I'm just starting to give less of a shit what anybody else is. I'm in the closet, not the bar. Anyway, no, this is a good one. It's 420, so I may as well. When I was 14 years old, I smoked my first joint. Okay. Scared the hell out of me. Scared the hell out of me. So it worked the front the lawn at the junior high school. What's that? It worked the first time. Oh man, that was the good stuff. That was back in the early seventies. Yeah, you remember oh, like, 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 like
scared the hell out of me. I couldn't even go to school. You know, we smoked at the front lawn of the junior high school. In the morning. Started in the morning, right before class. And I was so full of sound. down fifth grade. I couldn't even go. So, so I left. I, I left, and uh, we went to somebody's house, and we just like, spent the whole day with the, with the chair melting on me, you know. So anyway, wow, so I could, it was, you know, like 14 years old, I'd never even smoked a cigarette, you know, and all of a sudden, like, you wow. know, everything's moving around. And where, where, where were you? This was in Tampa, and, um, you know, it was really good shit then. Yeah, it was like yeah, oh, yeah, so well, well, all day in the chair. Oh, I gotta give me one of those. But anyway, yeah, 20, 20, I was pretty right? bad. But like a month later, yeah. this is the skeleton, okay? Like a month later, I mean, I was hardly even a pothead yet. You know, I did my yeah. first hit of acid. I did oh, three quarters of the gateway drug. I, I, did, I did three quarters of a hit of window pane. <laughs> Whoa. If anybody knows anything about yeah, window yeah. pain, no. yeah. that <laughs> clear plastic that makes you wear changed a plastic hat changed my life completely. But anyway, I spent like that the next. Explains it. I ex I spent like the next oh I don't know twenty five <laughs> years or so oh, like, tripping God. all the time. You know, I was always tripping for like twenty five years. You know, tripping. Tripping. <laughs> so you know, every chance I had, I was so always, when you were fifteen, what happened? So no. <laughs> so finally, when I was about. 40, 45 or something yeah. like that, I, I did this acid from Switzerland. And it was a four-way hit that the guy didn't tell me. Wow. And, oh, uh, I got so it was four in one? Yeah, oh, it was four in one. So I, so I took the whole thing. And, um, and you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm still alive. But I wasn't feeling really anything at, after about a half an hour. So oh, I took another one. Oh, shit. Oh, you got another one. So, it work. so now I've got like eight hits. Now he's got eight. <laughs> okay. We're, no, beginning, really? we're beginning to know now. Okay, yeah, that's where it all comes from. Ray, we're sorry. We're sorry. It's all right, it's all right. And, uh, so anyway, you know, I had promised my girlfriend, you know, that I would never I would never stop, I would never trip again if she could get me out of this. I was having a really oh, bad trip. Oh, man. I felt like my body was splitting. And I was, uh, it was terrible. I ate a whole bottle of vitamin B12 and just think I heard that would bring you down and take it down. <laughs> so anyway, she says, okay, I'll tell you what. I will get you down from this trip if you promise never to do it again. She had some clonopin. So if anybody's ever having a bad trip, clonopin is the answer. She gave me a clonopin. Oh, smoothed you out. Yeah. You gotta get two cookies. So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there in a bathrobe, you know, with my hair sticking up and I'm sizzling. Oh my goodness. You're getting yeah. paid. Man. And I'm sizzling. Yeah, and I, I mean, you know, I guess, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll do anything for a biscuit. But it's gotta be. I, 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 never, I never did it again. Oh, so just so. so far. Far. Did it you worked. take a lot of it again? Right. No, I never did anything that. again. I mean, you know, oh, really? I, I smoke, you know. You but, 420 in that. Yeah, I 420, you know, but I've never done anything that will, you Do know, that. Work, that I don't have control yeah, of myself. Yeah, Good for you. Uh, Good for you. Know. you. Oh, so what do you tell the that was unbelievable. What do you tell the kids out there? They're dabbling in cancer. I tell the kids this... that you're not missing anything. Don't do it, You've man. never smoked a don't cigarette, never had a beer, never smoked a joint. Just quitting you know? is the yeah. hardest part. Yeah, because, right. you know, I mean, you know, just concentrate on growing up and getting involved in school activities and, have, you know, being with your mother and, you know. And, writing music. Yeah, you know, writing music, you know, follow your passion if you want to write, if you want to, whatever you want to do, just do it, you know. But, break it on but, through to the other but side. But let me tell you, yeah. drugs, drugs do really take away, yeah, I think, does. you know, from your progress in life. Well, I, I think that as an artist, as a musician, I think that as a musician, it's actually contributed. Well, you know? it depends on but, the year. You know, I'm, I'm the I'm the millionaire that I am today yeah. because I spent years taking yeah. drugs. You know, so oh, is, is that like uh, being sarcastic? I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. You know, I just and, want to make that clear. He's a dollionaire. Yes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a dollionaire. A dollionaire. Yeah, well, well, paycheck to paycheck. Any, any websites you want people? Yeah, I have about a hundred songs of Reverb Nation. Great. Uh, uh, I've got a whole bunch of them. I've uh, got SoundCloud, the two of them actually. Ray Galindo. Uh, Just there's there's an old MySpace floating around out there somewhere who does that anymore. And, and, you're course, playing, Facebook. And, and your gig again is at Park. It's at the Parkside Lounge, 21st. Saturday, May 21st. I, I think I'm going on at 7 or 8. I'm not sure exactly. Okay. But, you know, and anything know. else? Good, yeah. uh, I'd like to do some more between now and then. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing this thing at uh, Samuel Cross every Tuesday. It's so every Tuesday they have an open mic? Uh, 
every Tuesday they have What's Mike, that? and it's an amazing place. It starts at seven o'clock, and I encourage all of my musician friends to come and make Sounds this. Sounds like a plan. It's one of the best. I'll do it, but when my arm gets back, yeah. you know, I'll get back in the track, but I got too so, pressed for a while. So let's go to Senor Frog. Ribbit, Yes, yeah, Senor Frog. <laughs> you want to push yeah, but, and, and you know who's doing this up in Mike is people you know from the uh, Funkadelic Studio. Nice. They're doing it in uh, collaboration with Oh, Sarah I love Frog. Don. Huh? Don. I, think, I think you need new batteries for this thing, right? There we go. Uh, we're we're yeah. That's how I crashed when I was better. <laughs> All right, give it up for our very special good friend, Ray Galindo. Thank you very much. We Thank got you. more, more, more still in the house. We will be back. Ruin. Woo.